The Pacific Northwest is home to thousands of wind turbines, which offer a clean, green alternative to fossil fuel. But according to a new study, the very blades that generate that clean energy are also killing our region's bats. We're talking about millions of dead bats over several decades. And that's a, that's a huge number of bats that have been, that have been killed in this, in this way. Um, which is a, a huge concern and it's a very new problem. The study comes out of Oregon State University's Northwestern Bat Hub in Bend. Ecologist Tom Rodhouse led the research. It's not um, an exaggeration to start talking about potential extinction of some of these species that just are being clobbered over and over again. Field crews use special bat detectors, like you see here, to track the bats. We highlighted the hoary bat uh, in this study because it's the species that's most often um, found dead uh, below wind farms. The researchers say the bats like to fly along ridge tops, which just so happen to be ideal locations to harness clean wind energy. As the bats fly through, some are colliding with the blades, but many are dying due to a phenomenon called barotrauma. It happens when differences in atmospheric pressure behind the blades cause the bats' lungs to basically pop. Is somebody concerned with bats? Yeah, it's seems pretty bad, but at least with these analyses, we can bring this to light. Bats are key when it comes to controlling pests. They eat tons of mosquitoes and are incredibly important to our environment. But the researchers point out there is hope. We're looking at a lot of promising solutions. Such as bladeless turbines, or simply stopping the blades from rotating when the wind is light and the bats are more likely to be flying. They acknowledge alternative energy is important to have. We just need to find a way to make it safer for our flying friends. They're amazing creatures. Uh, we want to do everything we can to kind of pull together and, and try to help them out.